Listen, oh, something else that's making us extremely happy is over the weekend, it is Mother's Day. And, you know, I can't help but think around Mother's Day, there are some children and also young adults that, well, they have been denied the comfort of having a mom in their lives. And there is an organization in Orlando, Soweto, where uh, there's a, a remarkable lady that is filling this void in the community. It's called Ikacheng, Build Yourselves. And she is doing exactly that, providing a home for kids who don't have a mother. In 2011, HIV AIDS claimed the lives of about 270,000 South Africans. Now, considering that about 38% of those people were mothers, it really paints a grim picture for how many of our children are orphaned and left to fend for themselves. In Soweto, however, one mother has chosen to spread her love to those in her community who need it most. Carol Dianti is a mother of five. Although her studies have taken her from hotel management school to nursing, it was the plight of children in her own neighborhood that inspired a career in community development. I'm Carol, you have an absolutely beautiful center here. The colors are just popping off and I can imagine it's a really welcoming place for any child to come to. So I just want to know, what inspired you to start Igache? Some other people helped my mom, you know, in raising me up, you know, to be the woman that I am today. And, and, and truly what inspired me to start this organization was from the fact that uh, each and every child has to be given a chance to try. And as an organization, what is it that you aim to achieve and what challenges have you faced in the process? Our aim is to be able to raise young people who can actually be able to take this country forward, regardless of who they are, academically or so. And uh, our challenge right now is like each and every organization is, is lack of funding and everything else. But that does not stop us you know, from continuing doing what we're doing. In the beginning, the Ikacheng Center cared for 53 children. Today, over 1,700 children who have been affected by HIV AIDS are brought here through various means. Many are referred by hospice care, funeral parlors or schools. Some are assigned by the government, while others show up on the doorstep in search of help. I think the kind of hardships that bring children here would be the fact that a, a child has parents who are unemployed and they haven't eaten for four days. But I think the most important one would be around their education, you know, hardships of saying, I am a child with special needs and I am at a mainland stream school, you know, can you assist me in making sure that I, I get the right education in as far as my mental abilities are concerned. In 2011, there were an estimated 5.6 million people living with HIV, and high death rates prevail as a result of related illnesses and long-standing poverty in the community. But a steady decline in new infections may be a sign of hope. What gives me hope is the fact that the children have a tumor, and it can actually be a better tumor. Thanks to donor and other supporters, the dedicated staff at Ikacheng can provide a home for vulnerable, ill or displaced children. Well, they say it takes a village to raise a child, and although a lot of the children who find themselves at Ikacheng are without some support systems, they're definitely not short of loving mothers. Oh, wow. So incredibly inspirational. Like, the, 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 how they're going to be able to change these kids' lives is going to be absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for all that you're doing there. Awesome stuff. And good work, Tenji, as well, getting your hands dirty this week, doing some incredible work. <laughs>